normalize the fact that not everybody is a victim? I said that if you stay in a toxic relationship simply because you don't want to be alone. I do not support all women. Some of you are really dumb. And my number one hater were women. And it's giving haters. And it's giving haters. And it's giving haters. And it's giving haters. So don't be chasing after anybody because you're going to make yourself look desperate. No more man happy. Got his girl feeding him. Which is worth what? A thousand words. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Now, before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. Hey, I'm getting up and I'm like, all right, let me go see if he's if they're talking, if she posted a picture of him. I was I was torturing myself and I didn't know why. I'm like, why do I need to know? But I just felt better knowing. It's like something I just, I had to check. And I was checking her page every day, all day, trying to see what he was doing. And I never texted him. I didn't talk to him, but I'm looking at her because now I'm like, what is it about her that, why did you choose her? You know what I mm -hmm. mean? So now I'm like, how can I be more like her? Because maybe if I'm more like her, you'll want to come back. It was a whole right. bunch of those feelings going on. Man, she went straight loony. Now that you're going to see this happening more and more because- what a woman doing? I'm having a hard time getting a man to talk to me. So a man talks to them and they get him and then lose them. Oh, could you imagine? This is going to happen, especially if he's dominant, especially if he's decent. I didn't notice. You notice I didn't say decent looking. I said decent because women want to make sure a guy has his head on straight. A guy can pay the bills. And they want a guy to do 100%, but that's not the case. But if a guy is doing at least 70, 30, she would thank him. And if she loses him, what is that woman doing that I'm not doing? She's definitely being more cooperative. Got to figure that out, ladies. Can we normalize the fact that not everybody is a victim? I said that if you stay in a toxic relationship simply because you don't want to be alone, you are weak-minded. And here come the weak women. That's not being weak. Some women just aren't as strong. Right weak well that's not weak some women just need to heal you can't heal from a traumatic situation that you're still in i can't heal a burn if i keep touching the f stove it's impossible it's a lot easier to call yourself a victim than it is to take responsibility and accountability for the things that you allow and stand up for yourself he's cooking our garbage the great thing about being weak is you can always gain strength and for the men that's saying that strong woman mentality is toxic no it isn't you can love a man respect a man and build up a man and still be strong you're just not going to tolerate for those of you that think that I don't need a man mentality is toxic, no it isn't. You don't need anybody in this world. You need water, you need food, you need oxygen, but you do not need another human being in order to function. In fact, if you do, something's wrong with you. I get what she's saying, but it's a little off-putting. What do I mean by that? So many women have that I don't need a man attitude, and they want to get a man off of what they're doing for themselves. They use that, and I'm sure she probably does too. As a shield. I'm doing this. I'm making this. I got this much money. Look, women are making it nowadays. Let me give a hand clap to y'all. Y'all did it. That feminism push was very strong and hard and long. And it's worked on all of the employers. So now, and then also women are the most college educated. Even though those, those degrees aren't meaning much. Even though men got to be real or find themselves in good positions because they may not be going to school. They may go right into the workforce. But women are taking the lead because they're getting some of the jobs that men aren't getting. And congratulations to you. So now, with all of that, now you're saying, I don't want to have a man. And think about it. And Kevin Samuels tried to say the same thing. You're basing all this off of what you're making. For many years, you fought for equality and really to have the upper hand on guys because that's what started happening. So now they're saying, I don't want a guy, I want a guy to match me. That's what's happening. You want a guy to match you, to match your energy or match your bank account. They aren't trying to be their equals. You got to keep it real. When women fought for equality, they really just wanted to dominate. So now you've dominated. And then you come with the, I don't need a guy because guys are down here. It's wild. That's how you come in. And most women don't realize they come across like that. And that's exactly how you come across. And that's fine. A guy will... 
pick up his ball and go play on another court. And that's what we're doing. Don't you agree, Mr. Feather? Word. Put your Record it! Put your hands on me. You right, record it! Oh, Nilka, please, come on. Oh, Nilka, tomorrow, all the verse, you right, will drag this silly ass right here do with this stupid ass haircut and drag your ass in the front of the police, it's too. It's giving haters. And it's giving, it's giving, it's giving, it can't say, your ass can't even let me out. Oh, if you want to go smoke something, you'll be outside. I'm loud. When you want to go get high, you'll go be outside. Go cut that little ass. Move me out there. Fuck that ass. Locked up. You want to go to jail so bad. They won't let, let me out. Jail. They won't let me out under the jail. Hmm. That mm, locked up. You they won't, won't let me out. Oh. Go they won't the let me out. Oh. They won't let, let me out. I'm going to be taken care of. They won't nothing, let me out. No, 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 I'm locked. Guess what? Bob probably going to do the dash on you like you did to him. Did the dad money? No money in your butt. No money. You're going to be hungry. You're going to be hungry and still in pain. That BBL ain't going to do nothing for you in jail, baby. They don't care about that. Hmm. Locked up. They won't let me out. They won't let me out. And locked up. Like, BBL ain't going to get you no honey buns. It ain't going to get you no honey buns. It ain't going to get you fed. Locked up. They won't let me out. And come back and be your ass again. What is going on in there? You're going to be back. Locked up. That might be your second time. You don't want to get locked up. They won't let you out. They won't let you. can never push up on me. I can never get pushed up on. Locked up. They won't let me out. Let your baby daddy know he going to need to get your daughter. He going to need to get your daughter. He going to need to get your daughter. Locked up. They won't let me out. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Why did you show that? I just showed another fatherless home. Her youngest daughter going to be another victim. You see the mama flipping on the daughter. The daughter acting just like who? The mama. And who's going to act like her again? The youngest one. It's a vicious cycle. It keeps turning and turning. So she's going to grow up. The daughter that I was just talking about locked up. She's going to grow up to do the same thing. Probably not flip it on her daughter, but give her daughter that same toxicity. It sticks in your brain. Why is she going to give her that? Because that's what she came up with. That's all she knows. And she's going to look for that in the man. Oh, you're not hitting those buttons. You're not giving that excitement. You see what she's doing? Phone up, getting excitement, petting order on TikTok for all of us to see. The fact that you're doing that lets me know you're going to have a problem living with a man and pair bonding with him. Because you want things, you're going to miss your mom in that way, but you're going to want some excitement. And a man can't fulfill that. I do not support all women. Some of you are really dumb. And I mean that because I recently did a bunch of videos about facts of pregnancy and childbirth. And my number one hater were women. Women who have had children. I expect complete from men. But women, that low-key surprised me. You got it wrong. <laughs> Actually... You really supposed to expect that low key uckery from woman. I don't know where she's living at, but let me let her continue. I just want to know why stating facts is fear mongering. And I would just like to know why, because something didn't happen to you, it couldn't happen to others. Welcome to the club. Time when I was pregnant. My doctors, nurses were terrible. I feel like. I was not heard, I was not seen, and I had to find out the hard way that your body literally can just be affected horribly for the rest of your life because of carrying a baby. I don't regret my daughter. I love my daughter. She's the light of my life, but I am a lifetime diabetic now because I was pregnant, and I would gladly do it over again for her, but it would be nice to know certain things about your health before you can did she just say i'm a lifetime that better because i was pregnant with my daughter it's because of your eating habits before you commit to making big decisions so if one of my little fact videos helps somebody who's on the line of whether or not they want to have kids decide that that risk is not worth it for them good i believe in informed decisions and you should have information to allow you to make informed decisions especially about your health and if you agree with something scroll 
she got me there when she said, <laughs> I'm not going to say this, that this can't happen, but you get diabetes from poor food choices. None of us want to say, oh, you get it. It runs in your family. What I believe runs in your family is bad food. That's what runs in a family. Poor diet and bad food habits. I'm getting tired of that. Oh, I'm fat because I got pregnant under it. I'm fat because I go through all this emotional abuse. I'm fat because no, 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 no. Somebody made this comment, and it's so true. The narcissist expects you to chase them. And that is so true. A narcissist wants you to chase them. Hold up. A narcissist wants you to chase them. And she's talking about men. Isn't it reverse? Because most women want guys to chase them. So these women talk about the narcissist and narcissist this and narcissist that. And narcissist this and narcissist that. Narcissist really the woman? Something to think about. That's why they won't call you back right away or they text you back hours later or they play games. Narcissists play games, okay? And why do they do this? For control, okay? A lot of times a narcissist will say something like, well, here's my number, give me a call. Because they want to see how thirsty you are and how many times you're going to try to call them and everything like that. That's how they test you, okay? So narcissists definitely want you to chase them. And especially when you go no contact as well, a narcissist figures you're going to break and contact them or they're going to try to train you to do that. So you've got to be very strong and hold your ground when you're dealing with a narcissist or they will, you know, they will reel you in and out, okay? So don't be chasing after anybody because you're going to make yourself look desperate. Are you talking to men? <laughs> I swear, man. They make these videos and it's like you don't think about the other sex. What happens to most men? Like, she thinks this woman going through this. Yeah, maybe it happens to woman with Chad. There's not a bunch of guys out there doing this to women. It's usually tenfold the other way around. If you say there's a thousand narcissist men, there may be 10,000 women because who's doing everything she said? Woman. My point exactly. I stopped dating around the time when I found out that there are women out here who are giving their boyfriends their work checks and their boyfriends are giving them money out of that check for them to go and spend. If that's not your thing, that doesn't mean you have to do that same exact thing. Yeah. Some people are better than others at managing their money. And so that can be a great way to budget. We see this go both ways. Sometimes the woman's the money manager and she does the same thing to her man. As long as there's transparency and honesty about how the money is being spent and no one is being cheated, what's the problem? The bills need to get paid. So if both people are working together to get those bills paid, then there's not an issue. Yeah, that's men feel the same way that she's playing, but you know. It's a big thing. Oh, I don't want to give a man half my check. Some people, and as she explained, it happens sometimes on the men, men's end too. If the woman is more responsible, a man will say, let's take one from the team. She manages the money better. You get paid here. Or some guys will cash the check and, here, babe, this, I got my money for the week. Pay the bills. Do what needs to be done. Save. Or you go give it to the man. He's going to save it. And a lot of women need this. Sorting that out, spending money. Left and right, a man takes that money and says, okay, it's for this, this is for this bill, this is for this bill, and everything's good. I'll tell you what I do. I get my money every week, every month. My wife sits there, this is for this bill, this is for that, this is for this. So she organizes it. Of course, it's my own money. She doesn't take my check, and the bills get paid. And I pay 100%. But still, there's one person that usually manages the money in an agreeable relationship. Has to be agreeable, but a lot of women want to control things. The narcissist, as the other woman is playing, that's who want to do that. But let's get on. <laughs> no my man happy. Got his girl feeding him. Where's he at? He actually got her in Thailand. Now this is the thing, right? You can find him in Thailand. It may it may be a little harder. You got to find ones that speak English very well, or you need to learn a language. But there's guys out there finding them out there. And my man got him one. I'm proud of him. He got him one. She obviously loves him, as you can tell from the connection. The feeding him, him feeding her, different things. And I love seeing it, man. I love seeing it. And why do I love seeing it? Because it shows black men can go everywhere. Black men could go literally anywhere and find happiness. I'm all for black women finding it, too. I'm all for all women finding it. I'll tell you what has to happen.
and what a lot of women don't realize. You got to give in. Because once you let go of that independent woman attitude, you're going to realize there's someone out there for you. That's not all women back home, but a lot of women. But still, I'm proud of his brother here. He went out there. And look at that. Look at his kiss at the end. Kissing her on the forehead. That's that I love you, baby kiss. And she's showing him too. You can tell. A picture's worth what? A thousand words. And you can see it here in this video that this is true love. And more guys are leaving to find that because they realize it's definitely more to life. Getting with anything that's not that. Brothers, what we do in life echoes in eternity.